Uh, oh, Jesus. So you guys all know why you're here. Well, why I'm here. It's been quite a while, hasn't it? So, um, Death Note. Not much I can say about it. Well, there's a lot I can say about it. Like, how do you guys mess this up? How do you mess it up so bad? Like, you have everything, you know, already there for you. The only thing you have to do is be a little creative, you know? And not just fuck it up. You guys already did it, so... There's nothing much else I can talk about this. Everyone already knows, you know? This movie's terrible. It's bad. Not as bad as Dragon Ball, but... Pretty high up there. Sorry, someone's on the door. Um, watched this yesterday. Was gonna do a review on it yesterday, but I just had to sink it in a little bit more. You know. Wrote my name in this a couple times. Wait, where the. Wrote my name in this a couple times, you know? Didn't work, I'm still alive. But the thing about this movie is, it doesn't have a tone. Or it does have a tone, but it shifts so fast, you know what I mean? So to, so I'm not just ranting, I'm, I kind of split this up into sections. So, let's start with the first section, characters. Death Ball. So, guy who plays Light Turner, terrible. Guy who plays L, terrible. The, the girl, I forget her name, was her name Mia or something? Ugh. Oh jeez, cancer. Terrible. Like, I think the only saving grace of this movie, well to save it much, is Willem Dafoe. Most anyone's ever gotten were two. Mm. He was pretty good, you know? But he's not even in the movie! He's like in there like for a couple scenes, but um, yeah, those are just basically the main characters. Everyone else can just fuck off. Um, also, if as anyone knows in the series, um, Light is supposed to be like this genius master manipulator, but this guy isn't. He's stupid. Like it. If anyone should have known that it was a light, it should have been his dad, because no one just asks all these stupid questions. You know, there's so much that I can do, but I'm trying not to be negative here, so I was supposed to be talking about characters. Um, the guy who plays light is very miscasted. Um, I don't know why they whitewashed the shit out of it. Um, yeah, the guy who plays his light, uh, miscasted. Mia couldn't have been in the movie, you know. Maybe if they played it a little bit better, instead of it trying to be, um... Sorry, this thing's moving. I hate this thing so much. Alright. 
there we go. Sorry, it bothered me. But, like, they, she didn't need to be in the movie, you know what I mean? Like, as much as she was in the movie, because she didn't really do anything significantly. Well, no, take that back. She did a lot in the movie, but she kind of just fucked everything up. Like, for some reason, she's this murdering psychopath. You know, she wants the book for herself. You know, spoilers. Um, if you haven't seen this movie, don't watch this review. I guess you can say. I'll put a little warning in the beginning, just for people just wandering. It's kind of how everyone stumbles into my videos. Just wander in, and then two minutes in, they're like, oh shit, where did I go? Anyways. So, um... Yeah, the first person that they kill, too, is this, like, bully. And it's like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, you know, the character that we know from the anime wouldn't do that. He didn't even give a shit about, like, school. Well, he does. He's super smart. But he, he like, that is too small for him to start, like, for a starting point. I get it that Ryuk is the person who was like, um, you know, I'll, you know, try it out. Fuck, fuck that kid, dude, you know? Um... Light in the anime series wouldn't do that. It's too small. Like, you know, it's too small of a fish to fry. And that's what made him great in the anime series, that he is this genius. He's very calculated. He can do all this stuff. And, um, you know, watching other reviews and stuff like that, I kind of agree with people saying, like, um, like, you know, he had this whole complex system. Like, aren't you trying to keep this secret? So, yeah, so then they come up with this half assed explanation why they wanted to name him Kiria. Akira, Kira, you know what I mean? And, you know, from there it goes on and they end up getting like 400 people. But like, the way in the deaths too are very Final final Destination-like and they have to be, um, oh, they make it to be more explosive, more, um, like Final Destination. <laughs> Like, you know, people are getting decapitated, people are like, freaking getting hit by trucks and stuff, and it's like... It, that's not how it was in the series, too, like, you know, a lot of people are gonna be like, you fucking weeb, why are you bringing the series in this, you know? Because it's what the movie's based on. But, um, but anyways, it's like, um, the reason why he, he, you know, Kira is swift, he's just, he doesn't, you know, he doesn't make explosive things happen like that. People don't get mind controlled either. Like really, they don't. They don't get mind controlled, and it has to be like, you know. Okay, I'll bring this up later. It, it has to be um, in the realm of reality. Like you know, this shit has to ha actually happen. But the first death that happens is this guy gets decapitated with by a ladder, and it's like, but that's not how things work. Like, it. That's not how it should work at all. Like, you could probably put, like... No, it, it does not make things happen like that. It's like me saying, like, um... Where's the book at? It's like me putting it in the book. So I can turn to the other side. I wrote my name in it, like, 50 times, so nothing happened. It's like me saying... Everything... Comedy gets killed by a flying potato. That's not gonna happen. In the rules that were established in the anime, that can never happen. Because it's not realistic, it's not physically possible. Maybe if it was like shot out of a potato launch or something. But that's not what can happen. That's why people die in the, in the anime and the manga. They die from like, you know, heart attacks, um, brain aneurysms, stuff like that. Something that's physically possible. Like maybe suicide also. What? Sorry, I'm straying really far from the point I was trying to make. So characters, Light is shit. Um, Light's dad is an idiot. Um, L is shit too because it's nothing like how Al was. You know how many, like, the first thing he says to Light is, I know it's you, the first time he meets him. Hello, 
Hello. Oh, um, you're the guy. You're L. Uh, well, that's not my real name, but I'm sure you're painfully aware of that. What, what are you doing here? Follow the lead. You? Um, I was just, I'm leaving. I wonder if it was a difficult decision. If w what was a difficult decision? Sparing your father's life. But, you know, it's just, at the end of the day, they should have just made him be better. They should have wrote him better. Instead of this freaking psychopath. Like, who immediately grabs a gun and goes to chase light. Like, after some shit goes down. Um, I don't want to spoil anything for you. But, like, it's, those are the things that I'm talking about. Like, these characters aren't written or fleshed out enough to... Um, to understand their motives, to understand why they do these things, it just comes out as idiotic. And um, that's all I'll say about these, these characters. Like, every like you don't like anybody in here, well, except for Ryuk, because you hope that he kills everyone. So after that uh, comes music. So. The music is, well, the original score is alright, I guess, but they include a lot of 80s music in it, which is kind of weird because um, it doesn't take place in the 1980s when people have smartphones and stuff like that. So, <laughs> sorry. I'm hoping the book is working right now because I won't die. Anyways, so, um, it's really odd. It's a really odd choice of soundtrack, especially since they're using a lot of 80s, um, you know, pop, you know, stuff like that. Like, um, I can't really name a lot of songs because I don't really know a lot of songs. But they name, they, they put a lot of cheesy 80s, like, love songs in there too, which is kind of an odd choice. Like, even if you heard from the beginning of the skit or, like, in the middle of the skit after the credits, like, why did they use that song for the ending? Like, I don't get it. Um... But besides that, the original score is all right, I guess. It's like, eh. Thirdly, um, the third thing I want to talk about is the um, is the look of the movie, the aesthetic. The, you know, how they filmed it and stuff like that. There is a lot of Dutch angles. If you guys don't know what a Dutch angle is, it's kind of like, yeah, me. it's kind of like going like this. Like, you know, topsy-turvy sort of dealio. And that's kind of what like a Dutch angle is. And they use a lot of Dutch angles in that. God damn it, boy. Sorry. I kind of messed that up. But they use a lot of Dutch angles in, um, in the movie. And it's kind of weird, but then I kind of get it. Because a Dutch angle is only use, used um, to really show like a sense of... Um, uncontrolled, like, you know, things aren't controlled, stuff like that, like, chaotic. It wasn't particularly ugly. It was alright in that sense, like, it was, it wasn't ugly. It was okay, I guess. Like, um, there's a lot of scenes that you, like, that you know that are missing. Like, for example, there's, like, one part where he's talking to Ryuk, and, um, Ryuk's like, well, I told you to do this thing. And he was like, and then you like you're just sitting there like, uh, no, you didn't. And I guess that was a scene that was cut out. So there's a lot of that going on. There's a lot of scenes that are missing, I guess you could say. Um, also, um, what else can I say? So, you know, look, we got the look, we got the music, we got the characters. Um, oh yeah, the writing. Writing the movie's terrible. God awful. I could write something better. You know, I probably could. Um, it's just, it's not good at all. Like, how can you guys mess up something that's ar that already exists? Like, same thing with Avatar The Last Airbender. Like, you had so much to work with, you know? You had a lot to work with, but you decided to focus too much on the high school angle, too much on the romance angle, and not enough on the cat and mouse game that's supposed to be going on. Not enough of the interaction between Light and Ryuk. 
which is focused a lot in Death Note, because Ryuk is the, well, I want to say antagonist, but he's sort of like the, um, the mediator, sort of say. Like, he's kind of the guy who watches in the background, because the only thing he wants to see is chaos. And there's a lot of things that they could have put in there that they didn't want to put in there, which is odd to me. And the worst thing of that is that they leave it open for a sequel. Now, <clears throat> it, that's very insulting. It's like, you know, slap in the face to everyone who likes the show. Or the, yeah, the show. But I think if they did a movie and then they kind of did a show after, it would be okay, I guess. It, they could probably fix a lot of things that they did wrong. That's my only, um, my only really, um, suggestion to them. Like, if you want to fix it, I'd say make a show. Make us care about Light, you know, because you kind of fucked it up. You know, maybe he goes to college, um, you know, maybe he goes to college while he's still trying to deal with, um, being Kira, you know, um, how this plays out with his dad and stuff like that. Like, if you can do that, you could probably fix it. But um, you guys already messed that up too, because you already announced that there's going to be a sequel. So all I can say is, ah, uh, my God, be careful. <clears throat> oh my God, then Death Note's kicking in. Take your damn time. Right. You know, make sure that you flesh out these characters. Um, it's there's just like a lot that they could have done better. And I'm disappointed to say that I've wasted an hour and 39 minutes of my life that I could have spent doing something else. Like, my mom saw it too. Like, not, we weren't together. Like, I came home from work and um, my uncle and my mom were just watching TV. And I'm like, oh, what's this? And then they literally said to me, they're like, oh, it's the Death Note movie that was on Netflix. and. My uncle was like telling my mom, she's like, I'm so sorry that I put this movie on. And he's like, I he's like, I cannot get that time back for my life. That's exactly what he said. And I was like, I'm gonna give it the benefit of doubt. You know, maybe since I watched the movie, or since I watched the anime, I'll probably like the movie a little bit more. Maybe they throw in some some references in there. And they really don't. Not at all. Like, even if they didn't even try doing the whole rehash of the of the show again, like, just whitewash. Maybe if they didn't do the whole, um, rehashing of it again. Um, like, maybe if they played off right exactly where Death Note ended, and Ryuk found a new person for the, for the Death Note, you know? He just gave it to, maybe not even name him Late Turner, and name him something else. And he's like a Kira fan too, and he wants to continue the legacy. Maybe that could have been a little bit more interesting. Or maybe actually do it in Japan or maybe actually do something else with it you know or maybe a story before the the other person got the death note before a like got the death note in the series you know maybe something more interesting like that but it's just it's a waste of an hour and 39 minutes I'm just telling you now it's not worth the watch um, a lot of things I wholeheartedly agree with that um, don't waste your time even though it's free on Netflix. Thank you guys for watching. Um, put up the spoiler section in a different video, actually. Um, you know, I've been gone for a long time. Like, a super long time. Uh, the last video I uploaded was my re-upload of the other video that got taken apart that I was told to take down because... But anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. For, oh, 15 fans. Thank you guys for watching here and me rant for a little bit. Um, you know, I'll try to put videos. Um, I can't really promise anything. You know, I got a new camera too, which is pretty awesome. That's what happened while, you, while I was gone. <laughs> while I was gone, um, you know, I got a San Francisco vlog coming up. That I went to San Francisco like two months ago. Excuse me. Actually, it was three months ago. But uh, thank you guys as as always for watching. Um, try to put more vids. Um, 
see you guys later. Have a good day. And bye. Death Oh, <laughs> <laughs>